What is up, guys? Half Snap Bacon back with another episode in Bacon's World. So, guys, not sure if you caught this in the thumbnail for the last video, but I did take those lampposts out and just decided to go with the usual lighting in the ground with some leaves on top over here. Oh, I just didn't like the other, like, I didn't feel it suited the area. By the way, not sure where this guy came from. I don't see how he could have spawned, but he just magically appeared. We had no red sheep in there. None. So it's not like he got out. Wait, is the bunny still there? Okay, the bunny's still there. Actually, I have plans, I think. Once we once we like work on the area over there, I have plans for this. So speaking of working on the area over there, yes, for some reason I just double tapped that, not sure why, but it's a thing. Oh, I keep thinking I wanted to change the glass up here, and I keep forgetting to, to bring a piece up, because see how it's got like that aquatic color so it really stands out compared to the other lights? So I'd kind of like to put like a blue in here, like a baby blue maybe, just to, to make it more match up up here, but not downstairs. It has the aquatic color, so it like blends in with the water down there. Yeah, it's thing. So if you haven't guessed by the video title yet, we're going to start the garden. And what are we going to start the garden with? A giant mushroom farm. So I got boxes. Of all the things yep we'll start with boxes of all the things all the box things um yeah we'll put decorative stuff on this side and the inner workings there and yeah so I kind of got an area marked out here already and basically we're not going for a super high efficiency farm here it's gonna be efficient don't get me wrong it's going to be efficient uh, for the size, but that's kind of the caveat here is we're kind of having some fun here and doing some, some pixel art. So instead of, I think I just saw screen tearing. Hmm. I'm going to have to check my settings. Instead of going with, um, like, a super freaking crazy, um stuff and things what do you call it I want to go up like this and then I hate how this always happens so we got to do this whoops I went one too high yeah there that's how high we need to go one two three four five so we need to go one higher than that yeah Instead of going for a super huge mushroom farm to get the highest efficiency, we're gonna do a half decent mushroom farm and we're putting it in a giant mushroom. So it's basically a 21 by 19 pixel art and I forget how tall it is exactly. I'll uh, check the, like, the height dimension on a cut. I remember this part is six high and we're gonna do the the thing at seven high, the floor, yeah. All right, yeah, I saw a screen tearing. Hopefully it doesn't show up in the video. Sorry about that, guys. For some reason, Minecraft decided to just randomly turn off VSync. It does that sometimes. I think it's the way my recording software hooks the GPU, like fights with it. Who knows, who knows? Anyways. So because we're 21 by 19, we have a 17 by 19 bone block structure with some funky corners. And I put some lighting in down here, just, you know, I already kind of figured all this stuff out in, uh, what do you call it? One, two, three, yes, we missed one. Right here. Dang it, Bobby. I got the glowstone. Um, I already kind of figured all this out in creative. Actually, I even 
this is how picky I was with this, guys. I even uh, used a backup of this world, and this isn't something I normally do, but I have done it from time to time in other worlds. Almost never in this world, though, to be honest with you. Like, almost never. But I, I used a backup of this world, and I took this and a couple other structures I have planned for up here that have been done in creative, and I actually used MC Edit to copy and paste them into this world and move them around and see where I wanted them before we built them. Yeah, that's how uh, that's how picky I was with the whoop layout up here. Wait, which box is that? Yeah, no, we want this one. So basically, I thought I put the thing there. Did I not put the uh, screwing up left, right, and center here. So basically, we got these like little divots here, okay? Bone blocks all running in one direction, so we get these lines. That's kind of like our mushroom trunk, because yeah, this is going to be a giant mushroom block, and it will be amazing. And the reason we got that, ah, is so I can do that. No, seriously. Um, the reason we got that is because I'm going to come down like this and we're going to use the red stained clay uh, or stained clay, concrete, red concrete. There isn't even one called stained clay in the game anymore and I'm still saying it. We're going to use the red concrete and the white concrete to create our mushroom. So this platform is seven blocks high. We're standing on the seventh block and we're going up all the way to 21. So 19 by 21 by 21. Length, width, height, yeah, that's how it's done, right? Those are the total dimensions. So the reason I'm going down a block here is because, um, yeah, we're gonna go down like a couple blocks to get the proper height of a mushroom. So I'm gonna like circle this around and it's going to be laggy, it's not when I'm looking down, because, um, yeah, man cave storage area. I had originally wanted to cut out the area around the storage area, like right over here, so we could see it from up top here, but I kind of changed my mind on that, guys. I changed my mind. Oh, and these corners, I'm going to have to take that out, because these need to be too deep. So I'll do that off camera. But yeah, the reason I changed my mind on it is just because of the playing around with the layout up here, it's not gonna work. Because we're gonna have other stuff that we're putting up here that I thought hadn't thought of when I came up with that idea. Aha, right, right? Looking awesome, looking awesome. So yeah, two blocks down. And basically what we're doing is like, every other layer uh four white blocks and i'm gonna kind of attempt to space them out a little randomly from each other so they actually look like a mushroom uh i did find that you kind of want to try and keep near the bottom a semi close to even number or it offsets kind of funny as you go up um tried on the sides in creative didn't like it so i'm leaving those solid red there's just not enough space there for the dimensions of the farm to get them in there so yeah the sides will be solid red and then we'll do the mushroom top and we'll put them up there so now basically what we're gonna do guys is i'll show you the redstone here and i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this concept or not, this is a pretty old school concept, actually. This is a very old school concept. So I'm gonna kind of show you like one grid and what we're gonna do is like one of these on each side where they put the mushrooms. And I did bring mushrooms, right? And three, three of these high, basically and wrote some stuff through. So 
basically the way mushrooms work is they check um four blocks away from each other kind of thing so you can have a max row of four because this one will check one two three four right of its color so you can go in a straight row you can go four brown and then four red and then four brown we're putting less on the red simply because well we mainly want a brown mushroom farm is the thing okay that's gonna be the thing and then I don't know why I did that we can actually go here so we're putting these in the hole there kind of take care of that end and then on this row and this is actually gonna be uh, like our cedar row the ones that the mushrooms actually grow to we are gonna put uh, I forgot the glass didn't I? clear glass clear oh no I grabbed it okay got the glowstone got all the things so the redstone is there to power rails because we're gonna have mine carts underneath this okay aha it's a thing it's almost like I thought of all this stuff because I am so smart S M R T and then we're gonna have that like so and go like this now the way they go directly up and down is three blocks from the mushroom on the center so this one will check at this level this level and one level below it so the block below it so you can actually double stack these and this is nothing new guys this is a pretty classic design for mushroom farming like very very old now very 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 old i don't know who came up with it originally um i know like it's the the research on mushrooms is so old you guys wouldn't even probably wouldn't even be familiar with the guy that did it all put it that way okay and then this I mean you've seen me do this kind of thing before so it's nothing new but I'm gonna give credit where credit is due not that you know a million of us didn't think of this but Zuma has shown this specifically for dang it Bobby for mushrooms farms so credit to him where credit is due that this is because of the observer probably the simplest um stuff what do you call it the simplest circuit you can do now the block up here is not necessary this could be a an air block but it's simpler to place something with a block there and the lighting will help keep the farm lit up and the hole inside of the mushroom lit up so yeah just like that and then exact same thing up in here and then between the glowstone at that level we're spacing out and these bad boys okay i'm not gonna waste time fighting this guys i'm just gonna i'm gonna cut and build these up off camera so we're not here for a million years but you see what happens right it detects a change and it's going to do that only when it's the case of a mushroom growth if we put this podzo back shoot i didn't use my silk touch i hate wasting podzo okay this is why I'm doing it off camera. <laughs> um, if it's a mushroom growth, see what happens. So then we just need to come along with rails underneath. Rails, rails, rails. And run a hopper mine cart. And it can just run back and forth. We'll put it on a loop and it'll collect all the things yeah it's that simple guys that simple so basically um this is what determined the dimensions of our farm what and the fact that we're going three high was around the height 
the mushroom looked good for the width of it. Originally, I was thinking too high, but yeah, three high ended up looking better. All right, guys, so that side's in. I just wanted to show you how I plan to do each floor so you're aware. So we're gonna come up this up here, right? Now, I don't know, technically you can get up that side, so I'm, I might leave this open. I think I closed it off in creative, but my plan is to have an elevator ladder here once we bring this side up high enough. And then each floor, I'm just gonna put a strip of white concrete in the middle to kind of keep going with what our plan here is, Stan. Now, I kind of wanted to show you guys um, what the actual plan as far as this goes from here on out because this is going to be an important part so up in here we need another level right we need another level so we're going to go glass glass and we need a spot to put our rails for the next level so we're just going to go like so bam 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 on each side right and then we're gonna go back to our redstone blocks in the center to power our rails and then start the whole process over again so these bad boys then the glowstone Or sorry, not then the glowstone, then the glass, then the glowstone, and so on and so forth. And this way we're getting an adequate light level everywhere. Like you have to remember with these ones too, the light will pass through them. So that block light, if we look at it, is actually higher than one would assume. See? See? Yeah. So that's the thing. That's how we're making sure they're all lit up. And that's why we're using Podzel, guys, because it won't break when we move the block. And it also will accept mushroom growth from any length. See, you can see it's working already. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It's great, I know. So yeah, basically this is uh, the pattern for the next couple of floors. And then what we need to do is tie all the rails together after that. So I'm basically just continuing this pattern on each side till I get three high and I'll be RBs. I ever mentioned sometimes I hate working outside in this weather. I've sniped a few skeletons though. Okay, so I wanted to bring you in just in case you were wondering like how I'm going about um, doing the, the pistons and the observers on the outsides like the inside's easy because we got that center channel right but the outside little more tricky how's our pattern here where do i want to go well you have to go there and i'll be completely honest with you guys in regards to this basically i'm trying to make it random <laughs> with every couple layers I do. And then if it looks ugly, like I go down here after, and I pillar up if it looks ugly and fix it. Cause I want some randomness, but yeah, it has to look good too. So that's the thing. Feather falling boots are definitely a thing. Um, yeah. So the middle two layers are done. Um, this layer, obviously not. I can't tell you how many times I've done that with that block, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Yeah, just, just in case you wanted to know. One, two, there maybe? Heck, I don't know, whatever. Like I said, I pretty much always end up running down to adjust them anyways because if they look too even, so that's three.
I don't even know, guys. Yeah. So this is basically how I'm doing it. Just because it's easier to like bring the wall up to the height where I have to place the observer and then place the outsides along this wall and it's thing. All right. So putting the last row of pistons in. Yes, this is how I've been doing it. It's not pretty, but it works. You know what I mean? It works. It works, it works, it works. It gets the job done. And then we can huh, go up and get the last of the mushrooms planted, the last of the things in. There is a catch, however, and that is that we have to get the rails in before we go past this point. Reason being, this is the last layer, right? So once we get, and by the way, if you're gonna like repeat this yourself, as you do this, make absolutely, like absolutely sure that after your pistons are in, there's no mushrooms in any of these rows. You have to make sure all your pistons in are in on both sides and there's nothing on any of these rows because if you screw that up, it'll never fire. That simple. That simple. And you don't want a set of pistons that never fire, right? Yeah, you don't want that. That would suck. That would suck. So final layer, then we gotta get our rails in because once we get up to the top here and we close this off with the roof, um, we're not gonna have the maneuverability to put the rails in because we packed it so tight up top. It's basically walking room. And that's it. So yeah, that's that's kind of the thing. Now you do notice the orientation. Uh, this is the same orientation we have over in the villager farm that was giving me hard times with running mine, mine carts. But because it's an odd number, this way's a little wider than that way. I really wanted it to face this way, which meant I had to put them this way which means the odd time I might end up with a minecart that's not moving around. Which I'm not gonna lie. Crap. Come here. Is gonna suck a little. But it's a thing. It can't be avoided if I want the looks. We can uh, take those out now. They don't need to be there. So, okay. We have some red glass, we have some clear glass. We're done with the mushrooms. Um, what am I looking for? This, this, and more of this. I don't really need more of that right now. We do need the hoppers and all that, but I'll grab that in a sec. First, I kind of want to show you like the process I have to go through here, okay? This has to be the process we're going through. So obviously we need a starting point where the minecart zips through, right? Zip. Oh, and the reason we put the rail on the other end is because look at the height here. You don't want to be walking through this and getting hit by pistons, right? So we're going to have the minecart start here, zip along this way, then Have it turn the corner and this is the part where it starts getting fun guys we haven't done this yet but we actually have to do this these need to get blocked off okay these need to be sealed the reason I haven't done that is because we need the room to like move around and position the rails and stuff as we go 
But yeah, that has to occur on each end. Otherwise, we'll have mushrooms bouncing out and not getting picked up. And we don't want that. So from here, pretty simple. As you would expect, we're going to send it around that way. Yeah. And I'm going to leave this end. I'm not going to close that off. And then do I have redstone blocks? I do. Naturally, we're going to have that end. And I'm going to take this with me at this point. I think I'm even going to pick this up so I have some maneuverability. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then this side's pretty much good to close off. That's the first floor, right? You know what I mean? Give me that. So that's good. Then we can come around here. We're going to have our chest system come down here. So it's going to stop here. So at this stage, we need to start working on like getting things up, right? Getting things up. So we need that. We need that. And you have to remember that certain rails don't do turns, etc., etc. Actually, you know what? I also forgot that that long run there needs those. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So we need to power that. Go oh, away, stupid thing. And we're going to do that like a so. Now, we also need to power this one. So, you know, however you want it, it's a thing, whatever. I'm going to go up and we need to join this to that end one, right? So we need to come like here. So I'm going to put a rail there. Pitching. And we have to be careful as we're doing this, like on the next one, about how our rails are turning. Because if we leave it too tight, it's going to get stuck, right? So, bam. And then, naturally, this extension is going to come around this way. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to replace that one with a redstone block. And this is just kind of the pattern we're going with. Bam. Have a turn a corner there. Bam. You have follow me. So I'm going to like finish laying that out to the last layer there. Obviously same pattern here whoops not what i meant to do glass in the ends etc but yeah same pattern is going to carry on here it's going to go up etc all right the rail is done and now comes the hardest part in the entire universe yes the hardest part in the entire universe are those chests all going to face backwards that's going to look weird. I don't know about you, but I think that's going to look weird. Okay, so, yes. Um, you know what? I'm debating how much storage I actually want to have here. Like, do I really want to restrict walking around that corner? Or should we just start here? Because there's a double chest, plus a hopper, right? That's a chest and a half. I think that's plenty. Ooh, hang on. Ah, we don't need to reach it, right? It's the ting, man. We don't actually need to reach it. Now, we have to go this way because... Well, we can't go the other way because it's outside, right? So, you know, nothing crazy, right? 
typical that goes into a block oh yes all the mushrooms all the mushrooms and torches and I totally forgot the repeater because <sighs> I'm an idiot um why don't you use redstone dust you say bud power guys bud power so yes we need where did I leave my redstone chest ow that's not how I meant to do that yes give me a repeater take your torches back and we should have a closed system now so oh I have the minecart sweet we should have a closed system now so we can actually get the cart going which I think is amazing so bam doing it that way we don't have to worry about any issues powering those guys and we should be able to send our minecart for our trial run ouch I'm falling a lot oh I, I don't want to pick up the mushrooms I want the cart to pick up the mushrooms okay so you can see like every floor is you know closed off sealed off I will double check it all but it's basically all done at this stage right now like I was saying about up here we got to be careful so what we're actually gonna do is up a here we're gonna use the red glass just cuz for this section we literally want to fill the whole thing in and that's what we're gonna be using down a dare anyway all right guys so now you can see why um we had to do like the railings and close all this off i changed my mind i figured you know what screw it we'll leave it like that it's good it's good you know what i mean like it's good uh, i want the one with the carpet so yeah now what i'm gonna do guys um we're gonna go one more layer higher than this but I want to use some white carpet and some red carpet to kind of seal this in. Now you can see how I've got like kind of an alternating pattern here. So it doesn't have to match like up here is not as important kind of thing as that is. So, it doesn't have to match up flawlessly or anything. You know what I mean? Like, that's probably sufficient. You're barely even going to see it unless you're flying up top. Alright guys, are you ready? I wanted you to see why I picked the place I picked. Look at that, huh? Look at that. There is other stuff that we will be visible from here planned. But yeah, that's... Uh, that's what I wanted just off I tried a whole bunch of different locations back there and that was the only one that looked good from this perspective check it out so we've got all the mushrooms surrounding it you know with the usual carpet trick going on just randomly placed where they would grow circumferencing it and mushrooms on the ground and you know tattered freaking grass and and like weeds growing and all that kind of stuff yeah lots of lighting eventually we'll get rid of all the torches out here but i wanted to like kind of do this in sections kind of thing so as far as up here goes um let's go so i'll show you the top we can see our minecarts going around and you can see why like I had this one going up the back so this is the only one that goes up the center now that we're done and uh, it's because 
there's the roof right there. Now I'm hoping the glowstone in each of these spots just lets the odd snow cover it. If not, we might have to add some more glowstone touching the glass up here, but it should cast enough light up top directly touching those four corners that we only get the odd bits of snow. That I'm hoping is a thing, but yeah, you can see like you're completely stuck up here, right? That's why I had to do everything in the order I had to do it in. And I'm pleased to say I don't notice that much of a frame rate hit. I kind of tested that beforehand though. But yeah, um, can I get up please? So there is a way around for each area so we can come troubleshoot all the things. The minecart's being silent right now. I don't know why that bug still exists. But yeah, the rest of this has been, can I? Glassed in if it's not rail, basically. So we can, do I still have glass on me? No. And I have to fix that. Yeah, gotta fix that. Where's the glass? I thought I had all those. Guess I was wrong. So yeah, that just gives us, you know, service walkways and the like when need be and ways around where we don't have to worry about you know bumping into the minecart as we go we have shortcuts yeah it's a thing people it's important this side's done so i still have the mushrooms that i brought with me on me and whatever is in this chest has been since we set the rail system up look at that Almost a stack of browns already. Hasn't replaced what I used yet, but in all fairness, I think it's more than close enough, guys. More than close enough. So yeah, I'm quite intent with this. I double checked, obviously, before I glassed everything in that all layers are working as intended and da 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 da, right? So, the lighting's where it should be, and all that kind of stuff for every single one. So, it looks amazing. I'm ecstatic with it. Oh yeah, I don't know if I ever pointed out I put light there, and that's just, you know, to take care of the lighting inside of here. So it's good. But this is the first stage of our garden, guys. We got more to come, more to come. But that, I thought, was like definitely a good fun project to have yeah guys check that out do you love it do you love it i love it i love it a lot yeah so anyways guys smash that like if you enjoyed the episode to help others like yourself who might enjoy the content find the channel and if you're new and you haven't already, hit that sub button for more videos, peoples. We do awesome stuff like this on the channel all the time. Thanks for watching. Bye.